Hi, this is Bestun Ahmed, a faculty from University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Thanks to the ACS Clinical Congress for this kind invitation. My topic today is management of acute appendicitis in pregnancy. No disclosures. Acute appendicitis is common during pregnancy, about 0.2%, and it's the most common non-obstetric surgical emergency during pregnancy. Appendectomy is the most common non-obstetrical surgical intervention performed during pregnancy. Acute appendicitis is common in the second trimester of the pregnancy, as well as its perforation rate. Delay in its diagnosis and definitive treatment increases pregnancy loss. Diagnosis, symptomatology of right lower quadrant abdominal pain is still pertinent symptom, but not other GI symptoms. Enlarging uterus can displace appendix position. Although a comparative study of 291 patients showed no significant change in its position during pregnancy. Bandemia and left side shift are more important than leukocytosis itself. Ultrasound is the first tool to diagnose acute appendicitis. It's widely available, relatively inexpensive, lacks ionizing radiation. It has a high rate of non-visualization of the appendix, though. It can reach up to 97%. It has low sensitivity, but highly specific, which can reach up to 100%. Pictures here shows dilated and swollen non-compressible appendix. It can be diagnostic if it's equals or more than 7 mm in diameter surrounded by hyperechoic fat. CT scan, on the other hand, has high sensitivity and specificity, but it has radiation risk in the, on the fetus, so it's not a preferred way. It can be justified, though, in case of life-threatening conditions of the mother. 50 mgy or less radiation is considered to have minimal risk on the fetus. New CT scanners can reach up to 13 mgy dose which is, could be very safe on the fetus. Oral and IV contrast can be given during pregnancy. MRI is the best imaging tool during pregnancy, although still ultrasound regarded as the first recommended imaging tool. MRI has gained traction from the American College of Radiology report in 2018. A meta-analysis showed sensitivity 91 and specificity of 98%. MRI can detect acute appendicitis like this picture, coronal and a cross-section picture, showing appendix diameter of more than 7 mm and a thickness of 2 mm or fluid in the right lower quadrant area. It has a better soft tissue picture, 1.5 T and 90 decibels, are safe in all trimesters of pregnancy. We cannot give intravenous gadolinium during pregnancy. MRI can avoid negative surgical exploration rate, which can be up to 50% during pregnancy. In recent systemic review, MRI sensitivity was about 92% and its specificity 98% when analyzing 2,400 patients. A meta-analysis with data solely from United States shows sensitivity of 95 and specificity of almost 100%. MRI can be used as the first-line imaging tool in pregnant patients with suspected acute appendicitis. There were no patients with negative MRI result showed proven acute appendicitis afterwards in most of the studies. Ultrasound is operator dependent, but not MRI. One United States study showed very high degree of interradiologist agreement to explain and report MRI results. Risk of fetal loss increased up to 55% for perforated appendicitis during pregnancy. That's why early intervention is necessary. Laparoscopic treatment offers similar benefits compared to open treatment. 
partial left lateral decubitus view in last two trimesters of pregnancy is necessary, aspiration prophylaxis, airway protection, open peritoneal access is preferred, but cautious placement of optical trocar is acceptable. First post position is always important. It should be adjusted according to the fundal height. CO2 insufflation with pressure from 10 to 15 millimeter mercury can be safely used. It should be gradual intraoperative CO2 monitoring and tidal CO2 is preferred. Pre-op, post-op, fetal Doppler, ultrasound, and an increase in maternal morbidity, preterm labor, and fetal loss in cases of negative laparoscopy for presumed appendicitis has been seen. It's a weak evidence, but you can avoid all that by doing preoperative MRI examination. Decision between laparoscopy and open approach, it depends on the available expertise, infrastructure setup, gestational age, and patient's preference. A recent meta-analysis and systemic review of more than 6,400 patients showed laparoscopic appendectomy associated with lower rate of wound infection, overall complications, shorter hospitalization, lower risk of five-minute EBGAR score, but it had a higher fetal loss. Although these patients were below 2020, 2010, those with higher fetal loss, because the expertise was not that great for laparoscopy probably at that time. Another meta-analysis showed almost similar results for more than 6,000 patients. Is it safe to do laparoscopic appendectomy in the third trimester of pregnancy? We know it could be associated with technical difficulty, risk of preterm delivery and fetal loss, but two big systemic reviews, more than 3,000 patients, showed that the preterm delivery rate did not differ significantly. Antibiotics as a start alone treatment for acute appendicitis in pregnancy, there is no solid evidence behind this yet, not like non-pregnant patients. In summary, multidisciplinary consultation is necessary between among OBGYN, general surgery, and radiologists. Diagnosis and treatment of acute appendicitis in pregnant patients should not be delayed. MRI should be used to diagnose acute appendicitis in pregnancy to avoid unnecessary exploration. Lap appendectomy should be tried in all trimesters of pregnancy. No evidence yet to support standalone antibiotic treatment.